is your uncle in law. I try to get over there as much as I can, but it's costing me a fortune. And I have I have help over there, but not 24 hours. I'm just afraid something really bad is gonna happen and I won't be there. It's my responsibility. visiting as often. 
Some of them not even at all. What am I, a diseased animal? This is the time I actually really need my friends. They're hardly even around. If it wasn't for nurse and my niece's monthly visits, I'd be a hermit. Himself. I think so. I mean, but you know, I, I've only worked with him for two days. I don't. I don't think my agency would want me to get that opinion on. Please don't worry about them. I. I really need your opinion. His other nurse aide, Noani, thinks he's doing okay as long as his memory doesn't get any worse. What do you think? I think that um, you're doing a lot to care for him. I mean, you have nurse aide that comes in three hours in the morning, two hours in the evening. Uh, he's really friendly, you know, and he's not combative at all. Uh, that's that's a bonus. And uh, honestly, he's been great to work for for the last two times that I've been here. Okay, good. That's what I've been thinking too. I mean, um, I can barely keep up with paying for this, but at least I can, and I won't have um I couldn't possibly manage putting him in a care home, let alone a, a nursing home or an assisted care facility. I, I just couldn't do it. Plus, I've heard that a lot of those places, they have abusive workers, they neglect their patients. Did you hear in the news the other day, that woman that got sentenced to prison for a year because she, her patient died of bed sores. You know, I did read that in the news and it's, it saddens me. But that could happen anywhere. And it doesn't matter what your race, what your nationality, it just depends on... I know, and that's the other thing. A lot of places like that, they don't even speak English around the patients. Could you imagine being an older person all alone and not even hearing your native language around you all day? It is unsettling, but there are a lot of good care facilities as well. <laughs> it's hard. His savings is dwindling, and I have no idea what I'm going to do when he runs out of money. He's got Social Security, but it isn't much. And even though he has good insurance, his medications are so expensive. Oh, I was talking to Social Security, though. There's an arrangement. Maybe I can stay home and take care of him, and they'll pay me to do it. 
Wow. Yeah, it would be so much easier if he would come and live with me on Maui with my family. My husband built him a little cottage and everything. Oh, our property. Oh, it's nice. awesome. But he is so stubborn. He won't leave Oahu because my aunt is buried here. I understand. I see this often as a nurse aide. I'm He's sorry. Look, I know I'm sorry I'm putting my burdens on you. And my husband tells me all the time I need to work on that. It's really okay. It's okay. I do this because I care. You know? It's, I'm not here just for your uncle. Thanks. That's fine. Let's not. <laughs> <laughs> Amy, I miss you. Wish you were here right now, me. Feel so lonely without you. Maria wants me to move in with her and her family in Maui. I don't want to. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to because my memory's fading. But I don't want to be away from your grave. You remember how we used to play when we were kids after school every day? times of my life. If my memory fades, please forgive me. And I forget you. And don't take it personal. I miss you. I love you so much, Amy. The only thing that keeps me be from going insane is knowing that I'll see you down by the river again one day. We could play like we were kids. I know. I'll see you again, my love. <laughs> Walking down the road I've been told That my future's rather hazy I'm a samurai And I won't lie I lost my master From being lazy Got the Ronin blues Got no shoes my blades are rusty I've been wandering on for so long all my clothes are completely dusty 